Oh my gosh, babe, come here. Yes. Look. Is that just one week? Yeah. Wow. One week, seven solid days. Ah! Holy groceries, you guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure I cleaned out the entire produce section at Whole Foods, but I'm so excited to start the seven day slim down with you. If you're doing the spring slim down challenge with us, you know that week one, we're doing the slim down together. And this is something I've been working on for a while because even though I'm in really good shape, I eat really healthy, I stick to the hot body meal plans, and like my nutrition's really on point, there's still times that like I'm traveling or eating out and I just like feel kind of bloated. And it's one of those things sometimes you feel like you can't get rid of it. No matter how good you're eating, there's just like this bloat. So this slim down is so amazing because it has everything you need to know about foods that will help you de-bloat, help slim your body, help get rid of excess water weight, and a full seven day meal plan to help you see those results. So I'm gonna take you guys along on seven days as I do the seven day slim down, showing you my results, showing you what I'm eating so you can really see what it's all about. I think one of the most challenging things is the fact that Ryan's gonna kinda eat along this with me, but he's gonna kinda stick more to his normal routine, which is my normal routine. A lot more grains and proteins and things, so for these seven days, it's gonna be a little different, um, but I'm super excited to start. And the best thing about this plan, it is not like some crazy juice cleanse, it's not some crazy diet. You guys know me, I'm all about making sure we're nourishing our bodies so that you can feel good. Like, you shouldn't suffer through something. You're gonna feel amazing every single day just loading your body up with all the good things. So I'm gonna get to meal prepping and get ready for tomorrow, day one. I'm literally doing so much meal prep right now, not just for this limb down, but I'm also prepping stuff for Ryan. So I'm like making the weirdest combination of things, like all the veggies, I got eggs going, and making the um, apricot turmeric chia pudding. So I'm trying to prep pretty much everything for the first two days at least, and then if there's stuff that will sit in the fridge for a couple more days, then I can keep those prepped so that I have less work to do throughout the week. Also, I just wanna show you guys for this chia pudding, I'm using full fat coconut milk. Make sure I get plenty of healthy fats and all the benefits of that coconut. What is <laughs> happening to this egg? Okay. So that's supposed to be Ryan's breakfast egg for the week. Look at this guy. Whoa, that thing is way too close to it. Yeah, yeah that, I mean, it's like touching the thing. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh -oh, uh -oh. oh my gosh. It's an egg-tastrophe. Ah! Oh my. Ah! Two hands. I don't have a second mitt. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wow. That's that's impressive. That's beautiful. Uh, yeah. Unexpected. It's like a yeah. It's like a souffle. It is day one. I woke up, took my thyroid medication, did my makeup, and now I'm gonna do step one. So the first thing in the slim down every morning is to do the LSF tonic, which is apple cider vinegar ooh, and some water. Um, we're going for it. So second thing is coffee or green tea. So I'm gonna do coffee with my collagen, which is recommended in the guide as well. But um, I'm gonna do that when I get to the office today. So. I did take photos this morning, my little outfit, um, shorts and a sports bra, because I just wanted to see like physically if I can see a difference between the seven days. And you guys know having hypothyroidism, like my, one of my major chronic issues I've had my entire, entire, entire life, it's constipation, super. Um, but that just means I feel like I'm constantly bloated. So. I'm super excited for the next seven days. Today is a little bit of a tough one. It's always gonna be the hardest, I think, because it's liquids, even though you're getting proteins and so much healthy fiber and everything, it's a little tricky. So we're gonna be good, going strong. I'll check in with you guys in a bit. All right, and of course, I need to weigh myself, which I don't do very often at all, and for the last two months, I've been super hyper-focused on building muscle, um, which, usually means your weight's gonna go up some until your body all gets like back in whack, which is like four to six weeks, and then you'll start kind of seeing those, that pounds drop off. But it doesn't mean that you are gaining fat, obviously. You're gaining muscle, which is more dense, so you might see the scale go up a little bit when you start a new workout routine. 
Um, I've just been adding a lot of heavier weights to my LSF app workout, so let's see. I feel like I want to let down my guard and just fall. I am doing it with a straw, trying to make it faster. My the first up is so rough sometimes. Woo. You get used to it though. You can cut it with more water if it's too rough for you. Um, and if you need like a little like monk fruit drop in there or something, if you need it, I understand. I'm also packing up a box of green tea because this is something like I can drink throughout the day if I want a little like bit of caffeine, but also it's really great to help with your metabolism and support your body and antioxidants just like packed with them. Meal one check-in is coffee with unsweetened almond milk. I made sure to look at the bottle, like the little canister that I used to make sure it was. And then I added my collagen creamer to it, which is really good because then I get healthy fats and protein first thing in the morning um, to get me going. So, so far this is totally my normal routine, which I'm good with. I got sidetracked with work and waited way too long, so now I'm real hungry. It's smoothie time. Well, I get to heat up Ryan's. <laughs> lunch is like full normal hot buddy meal yeah. plan lunch. Just smoothie time. So we got this cutest little tiny blender, personalized blender for only $15 to make all my smoothies. like ginger and pineapple nobody's like us when people see us they know uh, I feel so much for you I'm so trying to do this one without any liquid in it but I don't think this blender's powerful enough for that <laughs> literally doing nothing <laughs> This one is so good. Here's my consensus on this $15 blender. It actually works really well if you just need to blend up some stuff and you add enough liquid to it, but that's the key. You have to have enough, you have to have enough liquid. Okay, hey so I'm in the middle of my leg and booty workout, finishing off my day. And even though I had a lot of those fruits and my smoothies and carbs, I'm definitely feeling it a little bit more. So I'm taking it a little slower and I'll lower the weights a bit, not go quite as intense for today because it's, you know, leg and booty will get you if you go too hard. I'm like a cherry tomato, I just finished my workout and I like was extracting blackheads and I have a gnarly knot on the side of my face right now because I'm totally PMSing. So I'm also kind of seeing if the seven day slim down will help me clear my skin up again from traveling and eating out. I feel like things just go kind of wacky. So here's the door. Miss that handle. Uh, you guys know yesterday I meal prepped so much. So for tonight I have the Bye Bye Bloat broccoli soup, um, which has all sorts of goodness in it. Get out of the fridge. I have like four of these jars in there, ready to go. But I'm gonna be just chugging some soup. All right, so in the plan, I can always add healthy fats and stuff if I'm feeling hungry, and especially since I did work out really hard. I wanted to add a little crunch, so I'm just doing little sprouted sunflowers on top of my soup. But I had a taste of this and it is so freaking good. I have it for lunch tomorrow too, so luckily it's real bomb. I just crushed that soup. And it's so funny, all day today I was like, I'm gonna have two bowls of soup because you can have as much soup as you want during this plan. And I was like, I'm gonna have two because I've just been doing smoothies all day and I wanna like really have a hearty dinner. And I had one and it is so filling and so delicious. That's all I could do. Like I could not do two bowls of soup. So. Last thing I have tonight is a sleepy time tea I'm gonna be making. And it's starting over here. I have ginger, turmeric, a little black pepper, coconut oil. I'm gonna be using some Manuka honey. And then we have these like ginger chamomile tea bags. So I'm gonna put it all in there with some coconut milk and make that on, make that to sip on tonight. <laughs> So all in all, day one, I feel really good. I actually had way more energy than I thought I'd have. Um, 
just like doing the liquids but because I had all of those healthy fruits and greens and just so much in that hearty soup like I had plenty of energy all day long I didn't feel hungry really at any point and again if I did I just added some seeds or something but I felt really good and I think I'll sleep well tonight and then tomorrow there's like that delicious chia pudding and I have apples and nut butters and a hearty soup again a different one um, for dinner so I think tomorrow will be a breeze it's day two I'm about to get this apple cider vinegar down I just have to say I feel lighter this morning waking up just having done like the liquids and stuff yesterday even though they were still packed with nutrients making time for my turmeric apricot chia pudding oh I feel like I'm not gonna be able to eat all this oh, there's a lot of pudding it was good when I tried it when I was making it but it's even better now Just got home. We were at the office so late tonight um, and I worked out and everything. So I'm gonna try to make my soup real fast. I'm gonna use the Instapot. Hopefully it'll take like 20 minutes because I am real hungry right now. That apple was perfect though. I needed that to kind of hold me over until now. All right you guys, so I just came to get my veggies and they're legit frozen. Like what the heck? I just had the genius idea and ran it under like lukewarm water and now I can actually cut it. Of a little lunch salad so this is just greens um, tuna artichoke I have some Kalamata olives lemon salt pepper and olive oil I changed because we had to shoot a workout for YouTube which I'm very excited I'll actually be live by the time you guys see this back fat bra bulge it's goody I'm like out of breath and starving now so we're gonna make a little smoothie for meal four three four I don't even know how much I've eaten today my next one Day three, I'm about to get down on some more of that Bye Bye Bloat broccoli soup. And if you guys know me and you know I have hypo, normally broccoli means like potential bloating because it's a cruciferous vegetable, but I roasted it really, really, really well and everything else in this soup is amazing. And there are benefits of broccoli like the fiber that can help your digestion, which can lead to de-bloating as well. I'm gonna add a little fresh avocado on top. It is day four. I just got out of the shower because I worked out this morning trying to get ready for work. So I'm gonna switch my meals around a little bit today because normally I intermittent fast, but if I'm working first thing in the morning, like working out, then you need to get some fuel right after your workout, including carbohydrates. So I'm gonna whip up a little smoothie. And I might as well make one for Ryan while I'm at it. A little extra in there little grass-fed whey post-workout. And some raw cashews. I decided to add a little flax seed in there too.
All right, day four dinner. We got some green, some charbroiled chicken and vegetables and fresh lemon. It's all lemony and delish. Got some egg whites, instant oatmeal, and making up for greens with a little celery juice this morning. All right, so I definitely did not get all my snacks in today, so I'm trying to make up for it now. I'm having some hummus and celery, and this is legit the best hummus you'll ever eat in your life. just finished a gnarly so gnarly hard. cardio sprint workout this morning so getting a little smoothie this one has just some mixed berries almond milk uh, what else in it spinach and protein so nice and simple but what I need after this workout for sure we got a blowout and I feel like a completely different person but we had to rush from our workout got the smoothie took a shower we got a blowout and now we're heading up to LA for our friends gender reveal party, which I'm so excited for. I've never actually been to one before. Um, and luckily she is super fit and healthy. So I know the snacks and things will be on point. And that's what I love about this seven day slim down plan too. As long as you stick to like the guidelines, if you don't eat the meal plan exactly, you're still gonna feel amazing and get great results. So like even today, this is my breakfast. Well, I guess not breakfast, cause I had my smoothie. So we'll call this lunch, but it's eggs, asparagus. I have some sweet potato and it's a little different than what is actually on the plan for today but since it's within my guidelines i'm getting down on it because i had this meal prepped left over from this week so day six going strong we just got back uh, about an hour or so ago from la and i'm prepping some dinner and i had a bunch of chicken in the fridge so i figured i might as well just cook it all so that i can have some meal prepped ready for tomorrow already and that's like the biggest thing and that's why i love again like that you can adjust things so that you can cook a bunch of stuff and just use that instead of having to make a million different things. What I got is chicken, I have lemons. I love to put the actual lemon in the Instapot because it just gives it so much more flavor. Onions, tomatoes, all the seasoning. And we're gonna go ahead and get that going. All right, so the chicken is done in there. I'm gonna add some of these guys, just a little sun-dried tomato. And then I made these doodles. Um, I normally make them from scratch. These were frozen from Trader Joe's. I will definitely make them from home next time. These seem like a little bit soggy, which I'm not a huge fan of. Kind of weird, but we'll just deal for tonight. I made up the artichoke, and then this is my bowl with the zoodles and the chicken and those veggies, and then Ryan's with the most delicious bread you'll ever have in your life. This stuff is the bomb, and then some brown rice as well. So this is the bread, it's AWG Bakery. It is my friend Hannah's brand, and it's amazing. You can see it's grain-free, gluten-free, organic, non-GMO, vegan, and paleo. Nobody's like you. You are not normal at all. Day seven, so I'm making some coffee. I woke up a little extra early this morning and the time change thing has gotten me like kind of weird this week, but I'm feeling good. Like I'm feeling really good. I feel less bloated. I feel less like gassy crampy from eating, which happens a lot. I think it's been really nice just not eating out at all and like having to make every meal and kind of refocus on what I'm putting in my body. Um, I feel really good. So I'm excited for this final day. Okay, so I know I'm not even done. I have one more full day, so things are gonna keep getting better. But I do have to say also, my skin has been looking so much better. Just like glowy, clear. I really feel like that like extra focus and attention on everything I was putting in my body this week, eliminating all the sugars, like everything like that has really helped just like make it glowy and smooth, which is nice. And I had that breakout from being on my period and that's like clearing up and everything. So I'm gonna do my makeup for the day, but I just had to show you guys. Looking good. Alright, 
day seven lunch. This is really, really bomb though. The lemon chicken, if you guys haven't tried it yet in the slim down plan, perfection. We are rushing home from work to go do our leg day, leg and booty in the app. And I'm going back to my heavy weights today since it's day seven. So that's why I had the rice with my lunch. And we're gonna get a smoothie, like make one of the smoothies from the slim down plan at Whole Foods. And their freaking blender is broken. So they for three days. For three days. So they couldn't make any smoothies. I couldn't find anything. So Amazon's we literally poor now. They can't afford yeah. to buy blenders at Whole Foods. We just bought bananas. I have not eaten just a straight banana in I don't know, either. long time. I don't know, ye like probably years. I don't ever eat bananas. Really, I put them in smoothies once in a while, but I usually use berries in my smoothie, so we're gonna get down on this banana and that is gonna be my snack. The most important thing too is making sure that you're getting some protein right after a workout. Obviously some carbohydrates post-workout is good too in some form, but to replenish your glycogen, but you need that protein within like 30 minutes of working out so that you can replenish your body, allow your muscles to repair, real key. And I'm finishing off the night with a little yogurt and grain-free granola. And it's like dessert and cannot wait. All right, so I finished seven full days of the slim down meal plan. I feel so freaking good today. Like seriously so energized. I feel so much lighter. My belly has not felt this unbloated or like crampy in so, so long. Just cause like with traveling and eating out and stuff, it just makes a difference just kind of reset everything and then start adding stuff back in. Um, so I'm about to go do my final, final weigh in. Again, like not really like my goal to lose weight necessarily and the scale can only tell like this much of your story. But I figure might as well go give it a try. See what happened. Oh my gosh. <gasps> That's crazy. Okay, um, that's like five pounds in seven days. Definitely did not expect that at all because I don't have that much like weight to lose. I'm really fit. I don't have a lot of body fat on my body at this point. I know a lot of that's probably water weight. So like I would guess that maybe two pounds of that, one and a half to two is probably fat and the other four is probably just water weight from like getting off my period, not having all that salt and everything else, but like, it still feels good. You know what I mean? So here's the thing, healthy weight loss is only one to two pounds a week. If you're losing like 10 pounds in a week, that's not healthy, you're not gonna be able to maintain it. So one to two, three, and kind of depending on where you're starting from, around that area is healthy, that means you're doing it the right way, that means you're gonna be able to maintain it if you keep up with those healthy habits. I was just talking to the girls in the office about how the last seven days have gone, kind of giving them the recap, and now they all want to do the slim down plan, which we're all going to do together on the 23rd for the first week of the spring slim down challenge, but this is truly something you guys can do anytime, like pre-vacation, post-vacation, when you just need a little refresh. If you like this video of what I eat in a week for the seven day slim down, hit the thumbs up, comment below, and let me know if you guys want me to do this for my normal eating, like not on a slim down plan, just everyday eating, because uh, I think it'd be really, really fun, and I think you'd be shocked how much food I eat on the regular. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that little red button, subscribe, because I have new videos every single week. All right, I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.